Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amber and today I'm gonna do a review of my first wig. This is an unsponsored video, so they didn't send me anything for free and I didn't get any like special bait wig in the mail. Pretty much what you see is what you get. This wig is the Victoria 16 inch full lace wig. What's really great about this wig is that it comes in two sizes. I got the bigger size because I have a massive head. I'm literally all cranium. And with my natural hair being so long, as much as I try to get it flat and, and braided down and packed under there, it's just so much hair that normally my lace front wigs are fighting against my real hair in the back and they start to slide back. Um, and they reveal just how giant my head is. First thing that I got out of the box was I am not really a huge fan of these plastic wig stands. They're not that great. They're kind of flimsy, a little cheap. And here's the cute box that it came in. It's very sturdy. Um, my dog had some fun chewing on it and you know, whatever. Also in the box is this cute little beauty bag. Um, inside of it, bobby pins, a nice little rat tail comb and an elastic band. The bangs pinned back. Got like a nice little throwback, artsy, SZA, I mean, you can find me at the cafe, you can find me in the bookstore, she's, if I'm being completely honest, when I initially pulled this wig out of the bag and put it on my head, really like flash dance meets Rick James. It was not a good look. It was really confusing. I went in with my hair cutting shears and just kind of created like a nice little layered situation just to give it more of a shape and so I didn't look like so much like a cocker spaniel. Going in with some deep conditioner and really like working on the, the way that the curls sit, I actually really love this wig, but I promise you, fresh out of the bag, you are going to have visions of making a return. The other thing that I really love about this wig is even without glue or got to be gel or whatever, this hairline is giving me so much life. <sighs> she legitimately will not leave me alone. This hairline is crazy. I mean, if you didn't know what you were looking for, you probably wouldn't know that this was a lace front wig. I mean, unless I do that. I've worn it all day now. It's super secure. It's not going anywhere. This wig actually lays pretty nicely in the front. I mean, no gust of wind is exposing me. I will probably make another video later on how I do highlights and color my wigs. I'm not really a big fan of just like flat uh, natural black. So I'm probably gonna go in and lighten it up for the summer. I think curly hair in general, if you're not wearing it every single day and you're not sleeping in it, can actually last really long and look really pretty. Um, I do not wear my wigs every day. I don't sleep in them. So I think this guy will probably last me a long time. If I had to buy a wig from my first wig again, I think I definitely would. Um, I'm just really loving the quality. It's just an all around fun wig. I don't know, what else can I say about it? Hopefully this video helps you decide what you wanna get. I know when I was wig shopping, there were videos of like the super long Victoria, somebody had a 14 inch, but the 16 inch I think is a nice like middle ground if you're not like totally sold on short hair but not really looking for like booty dusting lengths really fool some people out in these streets all right we're out of here 